tutorial is going to walk you through how to use Zapier's new Stripe beta integration to create a payment checkout link. So this tutorial will walk you through how to use Airtable and uh, Stripe to connect these things together. This does require that you have your product in Stripe. So a good use case for this would be an e-commerce store where you, you have a lot of products, maybe one's out and once it's updated, you could create a payment link. So lots of different use cases here, but keep in mind that this does require that your product is already in Stripe. Here you can see in Airtable, I've set up a very simple, uh, basic e-commerce to get us started that includes the price, description, product name, image, and then a column for the Stripe checkout link. So I have all of these products in my Airtable base, and I've also added the one for the demonstration, this product three, over in my Stripe account. As you can see, here's the product in my Stripe account as well. For this demonstration in Zapier, we're going to go ahead and connect Airtable with Stripe beta so that either when a new or updated record, I will probably change this to just new for the purposes of this tutorial. When a new record is added, then we're going to create a payment link in Stripe. Once you have all that set up, just go ahead and hit try it. So the first thing we want to do once we're in is, of course, choose Airtable and new record. You could also do updated, new or updated, whichever you would prefer. Once that's ready, hit continue. Select the appropriate account and then set up your trigger based on that account. So be sure you connect the correct base, table and view if applicable. Once you're done, you need to go ahead and test the trigger. So let's be sure that we have the proper trigger, which is this product C. Go ahead and hit continue. From there, we're gonna hit the plus sign to get our Stripe beta. Now, you'll notice Stripe comes up first, so be sure that you keep going to get Stripe beta. The checkout link is only under Stripe beta. So go ahead and select that. The only option under Stripe Beta is to create the payment link. So just go ahead and grab that and then hit continue. From there, you'll need to connect your Stripe uh, Beta account. If you've already connected with Stripe, this should be pretty easy. If not, just follow the instructions until it is connected. From there, we're gonna set up our action. From here is where you'll see you're required to already have this product in existence in Stripe. So again, if you have a process set up to set up your products in Stripe beforehand, go ahead and just add this app on after. But for me, I've gone ahead and added it manually in Stripe and now we'll just create the payment link. So once we have this product in here, we're selecting that product number three and then go through the different fields using what's ever applicable to you in your area. So whether or not you're collecting tax, if there's any promotion codes, what kinds of addresses you're collecting, if a, a quantity can be adjusted, and whether or not to show the confirmation page. Once you're done with that, you can go ahead and test the action. And you should get a link that says this, that a payment link was sent if everything is successful. Head on over to your Stripe dashboard to go ahead and grab that payment link. As you can see, I've locked out some of the relevant information, but we do see this nice little button that says view payment link. So if we click on that, it will give us our payment link information. Once on that link, you can see when it was created and all the information you use in Zapier to set it up. Simply copy this link and paste it wherever is applicable. Now that we know that payment link went correctly, we can also automatically send that back over to our Airtable base if we would like simply by adding another step and selecting Airtable. So our app is going to be Airtable and now we're gonna update a record and hit continue. From there, we're gonna connect the appropriate account and then go ahead and set up our action. So once again, curl, connect the correct base table and be sure to choose your record ID. It will come up as record. You're gonna to wanna to select custom and grab that record ID from the first step, so we're always sure that connects together. Oops, you only need it once. <laughs> from there, you can enter in any additional relevant information. For us, that's just the Stripe checkout link. Again, we'll click our Stripe payment options here and come to the URL. 
and that's what get, gets put in here. Once we're done, we're ready to test the action and go ahead and test it. It was sent to Airtable. If we come back over to Airtable, we see that link now appears in our Airtable record for the correct product. Now our Zap series is all complete and we're ready to turn it on and everything is working as expected. You can go ahead and rename your Zap up in the top corner if you would like or you're ready to go.